If I could describe Stan Atlantic using only five words, I would say virgins, trash, all right, not bad. There we go. Done. I could take this to my grave, but instead I'll let it bury me. The most eye-opening experience touring in the US? Uh, probably that Hollywood sign over there. That opened my eyes pretty wide to see that. We're kind of far away, but it was sick. But also, uh, Taco Bell's pretty sick. And it's really cheap, and I wish we had it back home. So yeah. Um, some performers that I idolized when I was a kid, is, or like when I was younger, I guess was Dillinger Escape Plan and also Beyblades. It's like skinny dipping in my jeans You get wet but you don't get clean Quit pulling my ankles, I'm already too deep It's like skinny dipping in my jeans The inspiration for skinny dipping was Basically, just I was having trouble like finding myself, I guess, and I don't know. I just the line like it's like skinny dipping in my jeans. You get wet, but you don't get clean. It was like I was trying all these different things that weren't really me, and it's like I don't know. At the end of the day, you just have to get naked and be yourself and be vulnerable. So, yeah. It's like skinny dipping in my jeans. You get. My advice for young girls watching this, or just young people in general, is follow your heart and don't take no for an answer because the people that are saying no are kind of just like roadblocks in the way for you to just like jump over them and just like go a million miles an hour. So don't listen to anyone except for yourself and believe in yourself. Leaks in the stitches of soul, I'm letting nobody know, just keep dragging my butt. To everyone watching back home in Australia, long live Egg Boy. You know what it means. If you're Australian, you know what it means. Quit pulling my ankles, I'm already too deep. It's like skinny dipping in my jeans. It's like skinny dipping. What's up, we're Stan Atlantic and you're tuned into the noise.